Hi, I am uh, Dangerlander1k, and this is my uh, fourth day. It's going to be 10 solid attempts in Nightmare. I mixed up, I like reordered my deck a little bit, put some things out, brought some things in, and I'm going to, um, you know, reapply myself. So we're going to do like solid 10 runs at minimum in Nightmare difficulty. Uh, quick play, we're just going to see what happens, and yeah. Let's get started. What have I learned personally? Uh, I should say, starting off this situation, is um, um, I'm learning to really respect mutations and like what I can and can't do. So I am not the one to like, I, I have to definitely contribute to mutations. So I decided to disable the armor piece that removes aim down sights because I need to be able to nail them, you know, when it comes down to it. But two, my focus really needs to be on, um, like, like addressing the horde, uh, in a way that other people can. That's like a strength that I have that in melee that other people don't. And for those of you who are like worried about like getting hit and like the hits and the trauma, it's not it's not that bad when it comes to the hordes because between shoves and using the bat wide sweeps and a little bit of patience you can push them back like holly's bat is like perfect for that it's perfect between that and shoves is perfect for keeping them distance so not too many hits come in so you and her and her and her automatic damage resistance also is very helpful so um i'm gonna try to make that work i'm gonna try to embrace that um there's nothing i can do for uh you know mutations that show up except run aim down sights and try to join the rest of the team in focus firing and i have to i do have to be better about that i think my brain kind of shuts off because i'm in melee so much and deactivating aim down sights because i was adding a defensive item that did that was probably not so great uh so uh so i moved that around and i re-brought in uh, scavenger for support items to help the team and you know so like by the second map if we make it there that's what's going on but in the first map uh i i like i put in vanguard again and I, i'm i'm still tweaking things because I'm, I'm going through the process of like what needs to happen but uh what's very important is that i i don't run into situations that i'm not built for you know what i'm saying Wh which is why it's very important for there to be a sniper in the group uh if not two or somebody whose first cards are really aimed at like bringing down mutations and 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 that's a discussion that i won't really be able to get into until it's time for me to start playing regularly as jim or walker you know presumably just because of their natural damage increase right it's like do does what they have innately allow them to have a a, a bigger upfront you know a burst potential from their first couple of cards out of of neutralizing mutations you know, um, and that's 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 like a big ask for anybody that's, you know, playing that role. But that's something that that at least one person in the group has to lead in. You know, everybody has to contribute, but there has to be someone doing an above average amount of damage to make that plausible. And the melee in the beginning just can't. The melee has has a very specific role. I think that they can do that others can't, which is to deal with being surrounded by uh, ridden. And I can do that. Uh, as long as I'm paying attention to my shove and as long as I'm using my and I'm timing my bat swings properly um, I found in several situations that it is possible and that I don't take that much damage from them certainly if they're behind me if we're running and that's and that's the biggest issue is that if shit gets really disorganized then I can't I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna take all that extra nasty damage so trying to keep things organized is very important and it's everybody's responsibility on the team and that's how i feel uh beyond that it's just memorizing where the ambushes are usually set up and where to go to when those ambushes happen and where to post up when hordes are inevitably called which i i think i think everybody's learning together which areas are the go-to areas but it does take some improvisation at times so all right let's get started see what happens
He didn't need to. He didn't need to throw that. He didn't. Oh yeah, yeah. This is bad. Yeah. So, so that's interesting. Where is, where is this guy? He was taking his time down there. Let's go. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Get behind me if you don't want to get shot. Smithy's lost contact with a group of scouts in your area. The last report was disturbing. Be on guard. Do we have a plan, or are we, you know? Winging it as usual. Something doesn't feel right. Ding ding, we got a winner. Ugh, they have no manners. Take it. I've got to patch myself up. Over here. What's this? A shotgun. What's that? Not enough for that. In that. your face! Out of the park. We're still standing. Or there. at least I am. Gotta reload. See that? If you can't use your wits, use what you Don't can see get. Don't anyone else's name on it. Over there. G over here. Huh, maybe there's a way. Okay. Smooth. Fix this. Watching the rear. Going? Oh, the Molotov. Molotov might be more helpful. You know what? 
It's because I don't know what we're dealing with. Give me a minute. Got some meds here. I got a feeling things are gonna get ugly. Meds over here. Well, let's do this. No big deal. No big deal. I'm going this way. Oh, there's a snitch. Get down! Is anyone still out there? We need help. They've got us trapped. We got you. A hag. We thought we were the only ones left. We can really use some assistance. But we're pinned down in the old. These guys fucking around, man.
Yeah. That was better. That's what we should have done the first time. Should have done the fucking first time. Some bullet mine now. All right, Tall boy, over there. Ah! Down. Over here. Reloading. Fuck. Timing is everything. Ammo cat. How many times do I have to do this? You see that? Tag there! Aren't you scary? Hey, busy watching my back. Don't need to be watching yours. No need for a diagnosis there. All right, well, that was the that was the head. That wasn't the Don't worst. Said it was gonna be easy, but I've got faith in you. Was it the worst place to get the hag? I well, the hag's gonna be fucked up no matter what, man. I almost I almost feel like I almost feel like um I don't know. For me, the hag is all about backtracking and turtling. Bullshit. Shit. Don't shoot the noisy boy. Totally. Ammo here. She's got hurt. Yeah. 
There we go. Hmm. I never thought I'd be doing this when I was at medical. Better, much better. Let's go. A breaker. Yep, that's the breaker. Oh man. We have the aura. We can't. You see, this is where he likes to fucking spawn. This is fucking. What do you? The fuck are you supposed to do? Like he's so he's so imposing, and and he's surrounded by fucking. Don't res me. Fight! Yes. Oh my god, and. Oh shit. No, 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 no! Damn it. She was shooting all of that and she didn't. I can't even. You saw that? My, that's my problem. That's my problem. I, I share some of that blame. What's that? God, I can't fucking aim. Could come in Didn't get back up. Fucked it up. I got so nervous. I got so nervous. I didn't, I didn't ping. I didn't ping it. Fucked it up. Don't shoot me in the back. Come on. Don't shoot the canister either. Why? No, no, no. Oh my god. I dressed as a nurse for No! Fucking stupid idea now. Anybody! Much of the team Oh shit. Did that one's eyeball just come out? Can do it. Run, 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 run. Give yourself some distance. And poor doc. You know what I found is that if you could close the distance that with a, doing, I feel like there's so many roles that do not belong in front. You know, I mean, a sniper could go in the front or in the back. You know, melee could go in the front and the back. Carly uniquely can go wherever she needs to go if she sees shit. She could be pinging things left and right. But uh, but everybody else, I think, needs a, a, a like to be in in the area of the group where it's not. 
they're not going to be the ones that are first dealing with the threat. Unless they know for a fact that it's a threat they can deal with. Yeah, yeah, because if she doesn't get hurt, then that means she could focus on not being a liability. And she can focus on healing other people, you know? But if she's dead, she can't do shit. Closing thoughts for today's... Nightmare attempts. Yes, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The quote is, even if they, as in your teammates, are ass, do your damn job. Don't try to do multiple things. But the idea is, is just be really good at what you're doing and then trust your team to do something else. Um, if you are setting off the sleepers, if you're the one that's doing it, don't be in the front. That's an easy fix. The minute you set off one sleeper, maybe you don't know the map as well as you think you do. Let somebody else go in front. Give somebody else a chance. But don't be that person to habitually summon all the sleepers. It's a bad look. I mean, what? It doesn't matter. Who the fuck cares, right? But you're going to waste your own damn time too. You know, call on extra hordes unnecessarily. So, and the other thing is, uh, I'm trying to figure out where is it written that you leave after one run? That's like supremely annoying. I want more runs with people because I understand the limitations of bots and nightmare and uh, and and uh, things have a have a really good potential of getting better in the second run once everybody understands what they did wrong and then just doesn't do that. You might find new problems, but at least you are aware of what those cards are and you're adjusting to it. So what is the deal with so many people leaving after one match? Why is it? You know, they blame themselves. They're blaming each other. Heard some shit in voice chat. Like, what's the deal? What is going on that people leave after one match? I really want to get some answers to this because it's really bad form. It just sucks. You know, I think it's worth it to stick it out. The idea is you do that second match and you rally past your mistakes. You immediately know what you did wrong in that exact combination of corruption cards. And so you have an immediate opportunity to just adjust things. And when you don't do that, you keep jumping into new games often and often. It's just, it's just max, you maximize the random, the, the modifier. You never, you never have a chance to adapt to the mods you've been given. In a way, you have an advantage in that second uh, life that you didn't have in all the various first lives that you jump into because now you ex know what, to, now you know what you're dealing with and you know how it's messing you up. So how are you learning anything if you don't stick it out with the team? Stick it out. Same shit, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe you, you actually figure out, get it past because you've learned it, get past the, the finish line and get some points because of it. Mm. Anyway, those, those are my closing thoughts. I'm tired. Today made me tired. You know what I'm saying? I started with the sunlight. Light was up. I was optimistic. I'm tired. You guess they're just trying to RNG teams? If you're trying to keep rolling into new teams until you're with a team that just knows what to do, um, you're a liability to everybody. Because you don't know shit. Okay? There is not one superstar that is, like, deserving of a perfect team. Like, anyone can ruin the run for everybody, and everybody needs all the experience that they can get. So, so if you're out there... And you're one of these people that's like, no, no, I'm just going to wait and wait until I can find a group to carry me. You're, you're just as likely to ruin their run because you're not, you're not, you're not paying your dues and learning things the hard way with other people at your level who are also trying to learn. And when you're not learning that way, all you're doing is confirming bad habits and reaffirming bad habits until they, until they, they become stuck, you know? Uh, th this is not about trying to make people feel bad because that makes us feel good. You know, there are a lot of people that are struggling with this. So you do everybody the favor uh, and get, by giving them the benefit of the doubt that they're learning and they'll do the same for you. No egos and it's fine. And you can just mute it if you're feeling uncomfortable, but stick it out and learn it out because that's how the good lessons will be learned and that's how the good habits will stick. If you keep running and jumping and keep, keep, randomizing the team and the corruption cards that you run into your ability to understand what went wrong is not gonna it's not gonna happen you, you won't be able to reverse engineer the problem
Okay, that's it. More uh, duking it out with Nightmare uh, on the next cast. Peace out.